afternoon, everyone. My name is Sharachin Baskara, and today I would like to talk about the integration of microfocus ALM and transient testoscope. Before we get into the details of this integration, let's try and understand what are the problems we are trying to solve. Today, the software delivery pipelines are continuously evolving. We have new technologies in place, we have new policies in place, and we have new processes in place to fit to our agile testing and delivery pipelines. Because of all these new changes that are continuously coming into the software delivery, reliability and quality of our software is paramount. And we have our existing tool sets. Whenever we go down the road of digital transformation, we are trying to rip and replace the existing tools, which is causing a lot of data issues and the knowledge that we have accumulated over a period of time uh, we are looking for ways to migrate them over to the new tool sets connect all's value stream management platform can help solve this problem by synchronizing your data seamlessly as you can see here Connectol has very deep integration between microfocus alm and transcendence task we can synchronize issues, requirements, requirement sets, test cases, execution list, test, set, test sets, and the runs uh, seamlessly across these two applications. If, having this set, let's go and have a look at the Connect All application and see how we can set up these integrations for it to work so seamlessly. As you can see in my visualizer, drawing and building integrations is simple as dragging an icon onto the canvas, choosing the connection or the application that I'm trying to integrate with, and drawing the lines between them to build the integrations. Instead of building a brand new integration today, Let's have a look at the existing integrations that we have defined so far. Let's say, for example, the requirement set integration. So in this case, I'm saying all the requirements in Microfocus ALM of type four, which is business requirements, should be synchronized as requirement sets. And all the requirements of type three, that is the functional requirements, should be synchronized as requirements, right? So this will help me retain the hierarchy of my ALM into my Tosca. Without further ado, let's go ahead and build a few requirement sets and requirements to see how the data is transferred over to Tosca. First, I'm going to build a new requirement set. Call it authentication and authorization using IDP, external IDPs. Under this requirement set, now I'm going to define a couple of functional requirements. Authenticate using ping federate. And Another requirement that says authenticate using Octa. Right. So now that I have this hierarchy in my AM. 
let's synchronize these artifacts into Tosca and see how they look. Let's go to dashboard. Look for the requirement set. Uh, instead of waiting for the schedule, uh, let's go and force the synchronization for now. So my requirement set has synchronized, right? And we'll also synchronize the requirements. As you can see here, as the data is being transferred from one system to another, you can clearly see the activity history in the connector dashboard, along with your visualizer and the value stores. As we wait for the requirement to get synchronized over to Tosca, let's go ahead and build a couple of test cases that are going to test this particular requirement. Going into the test plan module, I'm going to create a new test that says test ping federate authentication. Right. So let's also synchronize this test into Tosca. And now while we wait for the test to synchronize, we will go ahead and create, add this particular test to our daily integration test test. Test ping for that authentication. We have added into our test set. And let's say we want to also build a new test set for weekly integration tests. Let's go ahead and build a new test set. Weekly integration tests. And in that test set, let's add the Google Auth and the Ping for Red Auth tests. Right. So now we have a test set that is created and a test instance that is created added to that test set. So when it gets over synchronized over to Tosca, we would see an execution list and a couple of execution entries under the weekly integration test and the daily integration test. Let's go ahead and synchronize this data. Let's synchronize the execution list first to synchronize the test set. It appears the test case and the requirements have already got synchronized. We'll go into Tosca and we'll have a look at We're going to the requirements module, refresh our requirements, and here you can see authentication and authorization using Excel IDP requirement set and the two requirements that we just created in the end. Right? And similarly, when we go to tests, we have our new test, test ping for rate authentication, synchronized over to Tosca. Okay. And in the executions, we have our execution entry created. In our executions, in the daily integration tests, daily integration tests, we should have a test ping for rate authentication, right? So let's, in Tosca, let's go ahead and run this test and get the results published back onto Yellow. So I'm going to check out this execution list. Run this test. 
say past, past, and check it in. And after some time, I'll also run in the next iteration. I'm running the test again with the status as failed. And I'm going to run another iteration. With the result as passed. Now that you can see that there are three iterations for this particular test instance, I have to synchronize these three test runs back into ALM for reporting purposes. Let's go and synchronize this data and see what happens. As you can see here, our test runs have got synchronized now into ALM. Now let's go into ALM and have a look at the test runs. You can see that we have run this test pink array test three times, and you are you're also getting the results as pass, failed, or and you can also see the same results on your on your test instances have for traceability. Similarly, we can create execution list folders, defects, and other artifacts and synchronize them seamlessly using connect all. Thanks a lot for watching this webinar. It's a pleasure talking to you about the integration between Microfocus ALM and Tosca using ConnectAll's value stream management platform. Have a good one. Bye.